Today it's time for the fossil exhibition. Good morning. Good morning. So we make a small tour here to see the whole process of work. Uh, look at the pictures we have here. Come closer, please. Area oh, yeah, 15 kilometers far from here. On our way to the dunes, we have large quarries rich with different kind of rocks like this. And all these kind of rocks are very true fossils inside. All the region is a sea floor. Then after the Udol of the sea, that means the Udol of the lava of from here till north of Morocco. That was the first Mediterranean sea. So everything alive at the time, fish, animals, plants, etc. still down at the bottom. First to marble. We have two colors here. We have brown color and we have black one. It's embedded inside. And in terms of the color, we had the first layer with big blocks, molten fossils. It's very dark brown color. The second layer, it's very brown, but with big fossils. We'll see this kind of thing later. But look at this kind of stones we have here. It's a name stromatolite. Stromatolite is a fossils which are still alive in the west of Australia. And these are considered the first creatures which give oxygen to Earth. Both are going down automatically. Ten days, they are like one only log fossils, eh? Only squids. And it depends on the order for any design, any shape, any size you can work is from this kind of slab. So sculptors, what are the designs? Oh, squids. Period. Silurian, that more than 450 million years. These are older than the other material. It's 15 meters deep to find this kind of rocks as a raw metal. Potassium hydroxide and only the sediment on, but it doesn't attack the fossils. Mm. But it takes much time, much work, much, much patience. Sea lilies, right? Is that what he said? Today is Saturday and it's a day of rest, so none of the workmen are here to show us exactly how they cut and polish fossils that date back anywhere from 350 million to 400 million years ago. Steve said they probably cut it with the diamond saw. The high quality buffer. I don't know the scientific name, but they are snails. These are called desert sand roses. They dig them down from under the sand dunes in different areas of the, and the sand in the Sahara. And here we have the showroom. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Keith, from the Crustaceous period, 150 million years ago. New compared to everything else. Amazing what they've made out of all these different fossils. Of course, they will ship anywhere you want.